Hello everyone and welcome to the first lesson here on Investium. So today we're going to talk about how to invest. So let's get started everyone. Firstly, it is important to stick to your principles. Like for example, you want to sell at a certain percentage all the time. 20% profit. Stick to that all the time. No matter if you feel that the stock is going to go up more or if the stock has a lot of hype behind it. Stick to it so you're not going to regret that you haven't sold it off before. Second principle is never sell anything on a red day. I've made this mistake before and that was just due to emotions and panic selling which wasn't good. Number three, never buy anything on a green day. This is because everything is going so well so you will buy some a stock at a price which is not good. You should only buy when a stock goes down. And lastly, the fourth principle that is so important. I made this mistake and it was fundamentally bad for me. Never invest all your capital. When I started investing, I started investing all my capital at once. And therefore I had to sell stocks to survive. That should never happen. Always have cash in the bank to survive. Next, you need to strategize. Strategy is important. In order to accomplish something, you need to have a strategy. Most people follow the buy low, sell high strategy because it's very common to use. And it's also the best one. You can also only buy known companies. This is the safest thing if you're just getting started to investing. If you only buy Apple shares... Amazon shares, PayPal shares, etc. Because these are known companies and their services are very simple to understand. You should never invest in something you do not understand. That is very bad. And if you're also a beginner, you should just focus on one market. This is easy because if you live in the United States, you should just focus on NASDAQ. The NASDAQ for the United States because then you know all the companies and you can also get a lot better information about the companies but people are gonna say obviously the internet is great about to know about companies yes sometimes no sometimes so if you are just beginning focus on one market strategies are very important next no emotions emotions are the enemy of investing most people can't have patience. As soon as they see that their stock is going up, they sell it even if it's not a good price. Like Warren Buffett says, money is attracted to patient people. If you're not patient, money runs. Another myth that I need to expose that often happens is when... You're having a red day and you think that you're losing all this money because it says minus maybe $30 or just pick a random number and you think you're losing money. You're not losing money because stocks go up and down. You only lose money when you sell stocks at a lesser price than you bought them for. Also, don't get frightened. Being frightened is very bad. You should also ignore the emotions of your friends. When your friends are saying that they're selling a stock or they think you should get out now, don't listen to them. Make your own decisions. Being influenced by other people is very bad when it comes to stocks. Moving on. There are different types of stocks, of course. Growth stocks are usually in new or fast-growing industries and they have a potential to give shareholders greater returns. They are of course the most volatile class of stocks and may likely plummet. Value stocks are companies with growth potential that are currently selling at a low price relative to their intrinsic value. It can take time for the true value to be reflected by their price. Moving on to income stocks, they're not expected to rise very much. They pay steady dividends. Utilities have historically been considered income companies. For example, Coca-Cola or Lumen. Their stock doesn't rise very much, but their dividends per share always increase. 
Then we have blue chip stocks. They are stocks of large very known companies with good reputations and strong records of profit slash growth. They are considered safe investments as they generate dividends. Now that is another myth. There is no thing as a safe investment because the only safe investment is when you control it and you utilize the right principles. There is a myth that they always talk about safe investments. If you don't take any risks, there's no reward. Remember that. And these blue ship stocks are of course Apple, PayPal, Coca-Cola, very famous companies. And then there are penny stocks. They are not expensive, but they're extremely risky. This is how Warren Buffett made most of his money. He started investing in penny stocks and selling them for a more expensive price. They're obviously speculated and they have short erratic performance histories, which means that for most of the time they're going down and then they have a period where they go up, 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 and then people start dumping the stock like head funds and regular people. When the demand becomes low, the stock goes down. But their low price obviously nets a small loss in exchange for potential exponential growth. And there we have covered all the five stocks that you can purchase, all the categories. Then, another important thing, you should always block out the noise. On channels like Yahoo Finance, on Simply Wall Street, and the Motley Fool, there's always experts who, adv what, who advise you on what stocks to buy. And if a stock is going down, if they're worried, they just give their opinion. Remember, they don't know. They just have expert attached to their name, and that makes people believe them. You shouldn't believe them. And you shouldn't believe everything I'm saying. You should just take it into account. That is the most important thing. If an expert says sell a stock, don't do it. Make your own decisions. Number two, family advice is always bad. I've asked family members whether or not I should buy a stock. And they always come up with stupid reasons not to buy it. You don't know anything about the company. You um, shouldn't invest in that. It's un an unsafe business. What do they really do? All that stuff. So never listen to your family because mostly your family are follow Johns who only believe in the 9 to 5 lifestyle and only want safe things. Don't follow John. Lastly, no trends. If a stock is being encouraged to be bought by many news outlets and experts, don't buy it because what they're trying to do is they're trying to generate hype around a stock. You remember GameStop when that happened? The GameStop saga, all the hedge funds were shorting the stock and people got upset so they started buying it and the price skyrocketed and then people started dumping the stock. Inexperienced investor just thought, oh, GameStop, what a great investment. Even though the company has had a non-profit development for so long. But people just said, oh, I don't care about that. Because everyone says buy GameStop, so it must be the right thing to do. Don't follow trends. Find your own stock. Here is another important thing. You should always diversify. You should aim for 10 stocks in your portfolio at least. This lowers your risk. As I said before, risk is good, but not too much. Diversification is the most important thing when it comes to stocks. And lastly, the last thing I want to hammer into your brain. I just want to beat it in there because it's so important. You should utilize crashes. Right now, we're in a bear market, and most good stocks have become undervalued as a reason of the bear market. And most people panic during this time. They sell off all their stocks and empty all their portfolios, and they keep cash in the bank. But guess what? Your bank just loans out your money all the time and make a profit. They don't even return anything. Before, when you started an account, you could get a certain interest and get money back. Now you don't get anything. Stop being a runner and be patient. When bear markets happen, use some of the money that you make and buy good stocks. PayPal, Apple, Amazon, whatever. Things that you know about. Companies that have been highly successful in the stock market for at least five years. Do that because bear markets is when 
the rich people get richer and the poor people get poorer. Now, that was all for this first lesson of Investium. Thank you for attending this class and hopefully you've become a more enlightened investor and you know more of the fundamentals to become a rich investor. Thank you.